Our Vodafone Warriors profile this week is on Logan Swan, one of the club veterans. He was with the Colts when the first grade team walked onto Mount Smart Stadium in 1995 to take on Brisbane. Swan's now a player the younger Vodafone Warriors depend on as a role model. And that's creating a slight problem for us at Vodafone One Tribe TV. Logan's teammates rely on him so much, he's hardly got time to chat. You see, Logan's a bit of a mechanical whiz, and he's often helping the boys with their cars. That means we're going to have to be mobile to keep up with them. One of the young boys, I won't mention any names, kindly gave me a ride home the other day and I uh, noticed that he didn't have a warrant and didn't have a rear vision mirror up and stuff like that, so I sort of asked the question, you know, what's going on? And he uh, said, oh, I failed a warrant and because of uh, half a dozen things. And I said, oh, mate, I'll, uh, you know, he's a young guy, probably hasn't got a lot of cash to throw around, so I said I'd sort of help him out and um, try and fix a few of his problems for him. On the road we go. Wherever sort of other players can help out, there's always uh, you know people willing to do something for another teammate. So yeah, this is uh, as you can see, it's uh, the rear vision mirror. I just get you to hold that up there, but that's what I say. It turns out Swan's skills with cars are natural, just like his lead. He had an apprenticeship at Continental Cars in Newmarket. They're working on the all European team. Some lovely cars through there, working on a few Porsches and Ferraris and. Nah. Only, uh, only the old Suzukis and uh, Fiat's and stuff like that for me. So I spent about six hours an hour doing my apprenticeship at Continental Cars, and you know that ranged from sort of servicing cars and I rebuilt one engine. It was a good little um, stint there, and that was prior to going full time with the Warriors. I had to give that away to come and play full time with the Warriors in '96. Little did Swan realise he couldn't leave those skills back in the mechanic shop. OK, let's get down to business and sort this car out. Luckily, Swan knows some people who are happy to help out the league boys. One, two, three, four, five. Five things wrong. Yeah, one of the uh, young guys on the side, he's uh, failed a warrant, and I said I'd give him a hand with a couple of bits and pieces on it. So I was just wondering if he had like a test light, because there's an uh, electrical system for the windows, and that seems to be down. So we're just uh, checking under the dash here. Apparently, there's a relay that um, could have blown that sort of works with the windows and stuff like that, so. It's a problem with the uh, imports, eh? You can't read the old uh, writing for, on the fuse box. It's... Uh, this is the indicator light. So we just want to get all that water out and then um, find out where it's leaking from and then plug it up. Screw for that, I think. Uh, we're training pretty much every day. So I do get the odd day off here and there, so you tend to try and cram everything into them. My lord. Uh, you owe me big time for this, brother. We've got the headlights, the indicator light fixed. Uh, your windows are now working. The bumpers are not dragging on the ground anymore. All we need to do is uh, put this back together, stuck up there on the windscreen, and uh, you only got one more job to do. Let's go. Back on the road again, and that gives us another chance to find out more about Logan Swan's league career. He started with Mount Wellington, age seven, and it seems Dad had a big influence on his career. When I first started looking to play league when I was seven, he'd sort of take me across uh, the road to a park and teach me how to tackle, teach me how to step and fend and whatnot. And you know, a lot of the things he was telling me then, I've been told by coaches in a professional environment over the last few years, you know, so he was very influential to where I've got to. Let's put the interview on pause for a moment while the mirror gets attended to. Yeah, yeah, we'll do. Thank you very much for that. Nice job, guys. Always good to know who's behind you on the road and on the field. Logan Swan spent seven years in the top grade before moving to England to play with Henry Farfili at Warrington. I uh, stayed with Henry when I first moved to Warrington and he uh, showed me all his uh, cooking skills. Plenty of salt, eh, hens, you reckon? He used to add salt to everything, that fella. Ended up uh, breathing like Darth Vader. The winter weather grated on Swan, so having other Kiwis around was a morale booster. There'd always be a, a barbecue lined up one weekend or you know, somebody's 30th or an excuse to have a, have a barley and a few beers. Uh, this could be the owner of this dodgy car that we're trying to fix. The work's done on this car, but Logan Swan's not finished yet. Uh, do you want to jump in your car and we'll meet you at GI, the Ripco and GI? Off to the next job, guys. So it's a uh, lovely Glen Innes, where I was born and raised. Spent many a time wandering the streets of GI with lots of mates. At 33, Swan must naturally be thinking about careers when his playing days are finished. Does coaching appeal? Coaching, commentating, maybe. Uh, yeah, I don't know about coaching. I, I, I want to keep this um, mop I've got on my head the, the same colour. When you go to start coaching, everybody tends to go grey or bald, so... Don't want to do either of those two. Here's our next client. Hey, shorty. Have a look under the bonnet. 
The boys have everything they need for the oil change. Let's find a place to work. Yeah, Ryan Shortland's uh, boy racer car. All this work is making everyone hungry. For Swan, there's no question about what his favourite food is. Oh, Mum's home cooked meals are normally always a favourite, eh? But uh, anything, anything Asian, you know, like uh, Thai, Chinese, teppanyaki, Japanese, and stuff like that. I always, I love that sort of food. This is where we get the hands dirty. The light was starting to fade, so we dragged Logan Swan from under the car for a few final questions. All that just for that, eh? Firstly, what does he do with his time when not playing, training or fixing cars? I spend a bit of time on the computer and checking emails and firing emails off to people overseas and whatnot. Bit of the housework, don't mind doing the old, uh, the old, what, dishes and laundry and stuff like that. Uh, to tell you the truth, my partner probably wouldn't wash a lot of my kit, so I have to really do it myself. No, she does. And finally, how many more seasons does Logan Swan have on the field? Yeah, I want to go around another year or two after this, so we'll see what happens. But um, I don't know, you might see me at the local mechanic shop um, before that fails. Looking to play another year at least. Thanks, mate. Now when you finish with Ryan's car, uh, any chance of looking at mine? 